What's up everyone, Ghulam Ahmed with GeneActivated.ca Welcome, today is going to be a topic that I'm getting a lot of questions about during this time in Ramadan First of all, Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem to you all So the topic is, how do I avoid getting thirsty in Ramadan? I get so thirsty Ghulam Bhai, how can I stop my thirst? How could I drink more water? How could I stay hydrated in Ramadan? So I'm going to give you guys my top tips and tricks to stay hydrated in Ramadan and not feel so thirsty and not Feel like you're dying in Ramadan. So make sure you stay till the end. I got lots of tips and my final tip is going to be at the end. It's going to be great for those that you're trying to maintain some muscle mass in this month and keep your water retention in your body. So my first tip is, it's just a concept. First of all, guys, the whole point of Ramadan is to feel the thirst, right? We're actually trying to figure out and trying to really feel the pain that less fortunate people are going through in the world where they don't have access to clean water, they don't have access to water all the time and we're also trying to feel the pain of those that only get one meal a day and don't even get sometimes they go hungry at night, right? So the whole point of Ramadan is actually to feel that pain. It's not always about staying hydrated but nonetheless if you're feeling dizzy and you're feeling like you're getting headaches and stuff then you might need a little bit more water so just for that I'm going to share some of my tips with you guys. So number one is the reason most people are not hydrated enough or they don't really get enough water intake in during Ramadan is because they don't prioritize their water intake over their food intake. So what happens in Ramadan? As soon as iftar time happens, we just, you know, go right into eating the food, the samosa, the jalebi, whatever that you have that's not, you're not supposed to be eating, um, instead of actually drinking water. So the practice of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is to open a fast with dates and water. So that's crucial. What you should do is, open it with dates and with a glass of water instead of having some juice or anything like that and then what happens we usually have our maghrib prayer and then we go on and we go home and we have our iftar so when you that's one glass of water you just had right there at maghrib time right before when you open the iftar right so now after maghrib when you get home don't just dive into the food have one more glass of water right and then have your food your iftar open that and then after the iftar have another glass of water so now, so far, you've already had three glasses of water, okay? That's amazing. Now, what's going to happen next? If you've been following my Ramadan at-home fat loss diet plan, you'll see, you'll notice that I have, you have a lot of water and protein shakes throughout the day. So that, again, is fluid intake, water intake that's going into your system. So you don't necessarily have to have water throughout the day in Ramadan. You have to be able to get fluids in, right? Another way you can get some fluids in is by having some fruit. Right, so there are certain fruits and vegetables that have a lot, a lot of water in them. For example, cucumbers. Cucumbers are 96% water, right? So having some cucumbers in your salad is a great way to open your iftar, right? And then watermelons or any type of melons, they're about 92% water. So having some fruit to open your iftar is amazing, right? And even having that in the morning for sahri time is also great to get more water content in your system. So have some fruits that have lots of water in them, like any of the melons, watermelon is a great choice. And have some tomatoes and cucumbers, both of which have quite a high content of water uh, in your salad or in your breakfast in the morning. So... Going back to the breakfast again, you can add tomatoes in your, for example, omelet in the morning or with your eggs, right? Again, getting some more water in there. So next, what we can do is we can, after we've had our iftar, we've had a glass of water after that, that's our third glass of water. Now we can do our workout if you've already, if you haven't done it yet, or you can finish your taravi. But when you go to taravi or when you go to your uh, Isha namaz, take a water bottle with you, right? And in between the prayer, when you have a few seconds, have some more water so you can finish another water bottle during that time because they're obviously pretty long. They're about an hour long. You can get a lot of water in during that time, right? So take a water bottle with you and finish another water bottle there. Then when you come home at night, you're going to have some tea. Most likely, usually we have tea. That's an again, some more water, right? Now, before you go to bed, you're going to have your protein shake or have another glass of water. That's another glass of water. So now we're at about six glasses of water right there. They don't have to be big, but you can just kind of sip on them, right? So another tip that we can use is that you can actually keep a jug of water by your bedside. A lot of times during Ramadan, we wake up at nighttime because we have to use the washroom or just for the hajjid. Then as soon as you wake up, you have that glass of water. Again, it's in your sight. It's in your environment. You're going to be triggered to now drink it because it's available right there for you. You can have another glass of water there. Now, moving on to sehri. So for sehri, what I do is when I wake up for sehri, I don't just go and have my food right away. The first thing I do is I have a tall glass of water, okay? And then I'll have my sedi, and at the end of my sedi, I'll also gulp down with a few other uh, glass, uh, like gulps of water, a few, two or three more, because I'm already full, so I can't really drink a whole glass. But now there, I've already just showed you seven, eight glasses of water, right? And another thing that you can do for your sedi time is you can also actually have a, uh, a bowl of yogurt, a cup of yogurt, because yogurt is, again, 
quite a heavily uh, composed of water and it has these properties that allow you to not get thirsty throughout the day. So having yogurt in your seti time with some tomatoes for with your eggs is great for some extra water intake. Having some water before you start your seti uh, and after your seti is another uh, thing that you can do. So that's that's water right there. And then we already talked about iftar. So these are all the ways you can add some extra water intake in your day for Ramadan. I've pretty much showed you how to have six to eight glasses of water in the day. That's about, you know, 50 to 60 ounces, which is what everybody needs on a daily basis anyways, for the most part, right? So that's more than enough water in the day. But what did we do? We thought about it. We tried to prioritize water over the food and that's how you actually get the job done. Now, my final tip for being able to retain more water weight, especially if you're somebody that works out and has been following my Ramadan fat loss, at, at home fat loss series, and if you're somebody that's trying to maintain their muscle mass in this month and not lose their gains, is to make sure you're taking some creatine, okay? So I'm gonna post a link in, my descript in the description here for one of the videos that I've done about the benefits of creatine and if it actually works. But creatine is amazing to hold on to water weight in your muscles, right? So that's what we want. We don't want the water to be losing, to be leaving our muscles during this month. So what, we're, what I would recommend is that you take some creatine before and after your workout. You're gonna take about five grams of creatine in powder form or in a capsule form every single day during your workouts and that will really really help you to maintain and retain the water weight in your body instead of you peeing it all out so i hope that helped guys those are my top tips for how to stay hydrated in ramadan and not get so thirsty i hope you guys enjoyed that if you liked that video please share it with your friends and if you have any questions and concerns please leave them in the comment below and if you have any other topics you'd like me to cover in this ramadan please also leave them in the comments below and make sure to get those down to you all right guys you guys have a great day i hope you're having a good fast today this has been amazing for me. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll see you guys next time.